All right, Hellcat Mods, one of our favorites. And when I talk about mods in this video, the first thing that I'll talk about is cosmetic mods because that is usually the first thing people like to do when they get this car. They like to get cosmetic mods before they do any performance mods or engine mods. So the first thing I would say as a, as a great cosmetic mod to get on these cars is to get your car wrapped. Get PPF on the car especially on the front grill and maybe the hood because that is the vulnerable areas of this car where things like rock chips could, could start to happen early on. Uh, these cars get up real quick. Uh, they're, they're, they have a lot of power. They kick up a lot of rocks. And if you're just behind someone who's kicking up rocks uh, and you're not going fast, it can be bad for you. So try to make sure you at least get the front of this car wrapped with PPF. If you want to go clear, that's great. If you want to get a color wrap, of course, that's your option, but either way, you're wrapping the car. You know, some people wrap the whole car, some people just wrap the hood, you know, of course, in a color I'm talking about, like a wrap, you know, whatever wrap you wanted to get. So that protects your paint. So that's the first mod I would say. Now, a lot of people are smart and they know that these cars need tires to really be able to be aggressive. Tires on these cars are huge. You know, the stock Pirellis that come on this car, for the most part, if you get the uh, all seasons are not that great. They are okay, but they're not that great. They're like in the middle uh, when it comes to uh, a tire that's really good. Of course, when you get the P-Zeros, which is what I've already had, the, the Pirelli P-Zeros, which is a summer tire, they're more of a performance tire and uh, they're not as great as a lot of other tires out there like Nittos or like the Continental Extreme Pro Sports or something like that. I can't remember what they're called, Extreme uh, Contact Pro Sports. I was, I was supposed to be eventually getting those, those tires and I still haven't gotten them yet, but I, I plan to eventually. But, and of course, if you get a drag radio on the back of Mickey Thompson or a, uh, uh, any kind of, you know, E.T. Street, uh, Mickey Thompson, anything like that, you're going to have incredible performance uh, with this car when you start stepping up the, the tires. And then, of course, here we go with the engine mods. A lot of people, and I would say one of the first things people like to do is get an intake, all right? And, you know, yes, the stock airbox is always proven to be the best you know, it's, it's closed, it's a closed in air box. There's no heat soak, so everything's closed in. And a lot of these open air intakes, or however you want to call them, supposedly do uh, have uh, heat soak. And then I would say another, another mod is maybe some people do a muffler delete. Uh, I've talked about that. I, I wouldn't do it on this car, but, or you can get uh, those race bullets. You know, I know about those. I know I've been knowing about those for years. Dynamax race bullets. Uh, to replace your mufflers uh, gives it a little bit more of a deeper sound and of course you can you know remove your resonators you can do a muffler delete remove the, the, the resonators and the muffler and remove the cats these are things where you start to like this car is going to be a lot louder when you start getting to things like that but if you want to keep it just not so loud but you want some sound uh, you can stick with uh, like what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to go to a course of cat back exhaust to have a little bit more of a deeper muscle sound but not too loud i don't want it too loud how I had on my Daytona 392 when I got that muffler delete years back. So those are some mods that I would say are high on the list. Of course, if you want to start getting to the heavier mods, changing your pulley, uh, you know, going to the green belt, uh, changing your throttle body, going catalyst, you know, going, you know, opening up your PCM, getting the cartoon, um, you know, these things start to now of course, depending on where you are, of course, early on, they're going to avoid your warranty and they start to get up in the higher, the higher price range. But, you know, that's, that's what these cars are. You, you can get, you can get, you can get into a money pit real quick with these cars. And that's what we love about them. It's just like never ending, you know? And then also when you're doing uh, modifications on your engine, you probably want to invest in an oil catch can. You know, I didn't, I didn't have to get one early on. I feel like, you know, I didn't really need one early on, but eventually I did. I did a video on that here in my garage where I did the install. So definitely go check that out. But when you start doing like different mods, I would say the oil catch can can come into play and it can come in handy in a good way. So to help preserve the life of this transmission on the car. So, you know, those are the things uh, you, you, you probably, you, you may want to do. You can also uh, go into uh, your engine bay. You can, you know, of course, dress your engine bay up. You go to these car shows, people pop their hoods and their whole engine bay looks like a nightclub. You know, whatever you want to do, you can, you know, there's different mods you can do on these cars. The list goes on, but I've done a lot of cosmetic mods. This is a limited edition Daytona Hellcat. So the first year of the 2020 Wide Body Hellcat, they made this the limited edition Daytona Hellcat. 
And of course, I got it in white. Well, I didn't want it in white, but it just happened like that. And it had a blue B5 decal over the back trunk lid. And I didn't like the blue, so I got it changed to black. I got the hood wrapped black, the roof wrapped black, and then that spoiler, which is also B5 blue. Uh, that's how it comes stock. I got that wrapped black. And I changed my rims from that metal, that silver looking color that I could not stand for the most part, to black. And my calipers were black, and I got those changed to red. So, and of course, my side mirrors, I got those wrapped in black. So, I did some cosmetic <laughs> changes to this car like you wouldn't believe. But that's what I wanted to do. I knew I wasn't selling the car and I knew I was never going to get rid of it. So I wanted to make it my own. And then, of course, later on, I added my intake and I'm going to be going to new, a newer exhaust. And then I'll be adding some more power to the car down the line because in January of 2025 uh, makes five years for me and my powertrain is over. So at that point, I'm like, all right, you know, let me start doing some some mods, but not get too crazy because now. My car has paid off. The last thing I want to do now is start having engine problems and then get into another money pit of trying to fix this car. These cars don't need much. They don't need much to really start getting up into the horsepower. They're already at, you know, 700 plus horsepower. And then, you know, you get a little bit more uh, power in these cars and, and they can be <laughs> next level off the charts powerful. And it doesn't take much. So um, that's what I'm looking to do. And, you know, as far as heavier mods, this is my daily. So I wouldn't go too crazy. The most. I would probably do yes it's, it's probably gonna sound crazy is uh, a thousand crank horsepower and so to the wheels it would probably be like nine and change you know maybe 950 wheel um that you can still keep this car extremely reliable a thousand horsepower you know with this powertrain and it'll still be reliable you know as a daily driver and you won't get into um, a serious like danger that 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 danger risk where you start to like play around where you're getting too much power and you can blow things so and also I would say uh, the mods that you should do that I'm going to be doing when I up the power is uh, my drivetrain is going to be upgraded. I'm going to get a stronger drivetrain and I will be putting the diff brace on the differentials to protect them more from uh, the, uh, the the extra power that this car is going to be making. And these are the top things that I would say that as I've seen these these cars over the years that people do to these cars. And, you know, you can't go wrong with a good wrap. You can't you can't even go wrong with a good PPF. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you uh, take care of your car. Make sure you uh, take care of that paint because that's the last thing you want to do is start having some, some rock chips on the front of these cars. It'll be real bad for you. And the most you could probably do is, get, is use some touch of paint and it will not look right. You may end up having to get a whole new paint job. So you just got to keep that in mind. If you do not wrap this car early on, all right, and you get on this car, and I'm telling you, things fly off the ground all the time that you can't see. And these cars... They, they, they jump up faster than some other cars. So this car is going to hit that, that rock ship is going to hit your car a lot harder than it's going to hit the other car. So you want to you wanna make sure you have this car protected as far as uh, that PPF. That's number one. I would do that ASAP. It's almost like as soon as you get that brand new phone, you get, you get that screen protector and you put it on. So that's just some thoughts that uh, come to my mind of mods that you should get uh, for your Hellcat Challenger or Charger. But I'm curious to know, what do you guys have on your charges and challenges? What mods did you get? In the comment section below, just let me know what car you have and let me know what mods you have. A quick list. You don't have to go through everything unless you really want to. But I'm just curious to know what's out there. And, you know, maybe you guys will give me some ideas. I don't know. But that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one.